Hey, George here from Weather Now Kentucky, and I wanted to give you a real quick video on how to use WeatherWise radar since we have some rain and storms coming up tonight, along with some wind gusts that you'll want to measure uh, and send in some reports for me as well. For the sake of this video, since we don't have anything currently going on in Kentucky, we're going to take a look out toward Oklahoma. Uh, so switching over to our display here, I kind of just want to zoom in on Oklahoma area. You'll see some strong thunderstorm activity ongoing there. Uh, down toward Texas, they actually have a tornado watch out. That's what this yellow is. And over time, you'll learn what the boxes are by just clicking on them and playing with them. So real quickly, this is our reflectivity here. This is how strong or how light the rain is. You can see a very narrow but strong line of rain here. By the way, when a line is this thin like this as well, usually means some wind gusts are accompanied with it. Uh, so just keep an eye on that. Uh, speaking of wind gusts, you can go down to that box in the bottom left here and you can play with some of these and look up what exactly they all mean. But the main things you're going to want to look at for every storm is re reflectivity for rain and velocity for winds. So you click on this and you can kind of see here. You have all these winds that you can measure up here and then down here as well. Green and red inbound versus outbound winds there. Uh, those are your ref reflectivity and velocity. And a really cool thing that they just added not too long ago is if you click over here <clears throat> in that top left corner, I just wanted to switch it back to reflectivity for a second. They actually have a drawing tool and you can change the size of the drawing tool and you can do whatever you want with it color wise. Let's just, for example, go with black down here because it's easiest to see. And we have it on a pretty big swath there. So we close out our box here. And for example, if you want to send me something that's happening toward you, you can circle your location. You can, of course, you can make that that, that uh, drawing tool thinner if you want. If you're seeing a small hill, for example, and you want to circle where that's at. That's a really cool tool that they have as well. Also, you can take off the box and kind of just go around the radar and look and the drawing tool will actually stay there. So pretty cool stuff there. Obviously, in this top left corner, you can hit screenshot, right? Save that screenshot. Send it to me either via DM or as a comment on one of our posts. But overall, really cool stuff to help me figure out what you're seeing in your neck of the woods. So weatherwise is a great tool that we use exclusively. If you want to stay on board here with us, actually send me some things. Uh, weatherwise would be a great radar for you to use as well. Of course, we have the link everywhere on our page to download, or you can search it on your app store for your mobile device. Thank you. I'm George Hardwick, Chief Forecaster here with Weather Now Kentucky. If you have any questions on how to use WeatherWise, just hit me up.